Hey all, how you doing? It's Donnie Sinbad the Sailor Man with Poetry Rights and Other Stuff coming at you today with number 68 of the Traffic Authority Video Challenge 100 videos in 100 days. I don't know exactly where I left off in my notes but uh, we're just gonna pick something up and start again and we're gonna go with uh, a life vision. Alright, once uh, you get your life vision discovered, everything else starts to fall in place. Alright. Let me back this out a little bit. There we go. Once you get your life vision discovered, everything else starts to fall in place. Starts to make more sense to you. It starts to develop the road map to your success. All the challenges are all pain factors. Pain is a master teacher. Repetition is a master teacher. You gotta pay attention to the master teachers out there. Pay attention to associations and relationships of things and processes and people. Okay, they're going to fall into place once you develop your road map, your life vision, the passion circle, the thing I showed you the other day. It's up there on the wall. Remember the two circles? Alrighty. You're going to have to, once you get a vision, Usually it's bigger than yourself, so you're going to have to get a group or a team. You know, you're know, you going to need uh, subgroups and individual visions within your groups to help you develop your team. All right, do you believe that we can accomplish more together than we can alone? Well, some people can't accomplish things together as a team. They don't fit in. They're a square peg in a round hole. So you have to be with people who can work with people. It's all about people. This is a people business marketing. Okay? Our life vision is what we built for, what we're built for, what we're created for, what we exist for. We want to connect to the visions of others that have sameness to our vision, likeness, and they have the same tendencies as we do. They say likeness attracts, not opposites. Not in business. Opposites attract in love, but they don't do in uh, business too good. They don't. What happens when you get uh, that going? You get. Um, obstacles and uh, pain and pain causes pressure and pressure causes stress and stress causes breaks alright so you gotta watch what you're doing you gotta use your words and mind your manners and and get things going for yourself this is a grown-up world you can't be doing the playground stuff no more okay once you start your life vision, you're going to find out that life still happens. Distractions, interruptions, and you're going to have to develop, instead of goals like the average person does, you're, you're going to have purpose intense goals. Okay, if I'm going to make a difference in the world, I'm going to have to be laser focused and intently focused on my purposes. Why I do anything is how I do everything. Or how I do anything, or how I do something is how I do everything. Okay? There's natural laws out there. You're going to have to discover them. Gravity is like one of the natural laws. Newton and the apple. Time is a natural law and a natural equalizer. You pay attention to stuff like that. Stuff that seems so obvious and 
daily you got to pick up on and pick out okay there's mastermind groups out there that got over 200 plus natural laws discovered and they're kind of easy to to come by okay where the pavement hits the road and customers meet the transactions and your wisdom keys you're going to have to learn about wisdom keys and your tipping point and uh, how to become better than tomorrow than you are today you, know, you can go to owners round tables people and like businesses like yourself these are just mastermind meetings but they're short and they're never scheduled again they're just one-time events or yearly events maybe monthly if you're lucky it's where you get together with a bunch of owners of the same type of business and you converse and uh, share ideas that's the same thing as the mastermind so masterminds are usually more intense than uh, they're getting to be uh, daily they used to be just like uh, owners round tables that used to be once twice a year or just a little get together okay I'm just talking today I don't have anything structured for you but you're gonna have to find out what your biggest problem is in life and what you need help with okay it might be something that in your relationship uh, skills and past that are clogging up your future in business or in your life okay you're gonna have to sit down and start thinking about you remember you are the most important deal in this whole business thing you ain't got your mind right set you're not gonna get get everything to work for you you're gonna always keep hitting the wall and the wall does is this designed to pause you and make you stop and think so you have to figure out the problem we talked about that you gotta get your visions going because your visions are going to turn into profits okay if people don't have problems you're out of a job if you, people don't need health products you're out of a job if people don't need uh, traffic you're out of your job so every problem is an opportunity for you to get a vision create an idea and make a profit okay okay now there's a difference between being motivated and being disciplined discipline is going to build your your character and your business you're gonna have to it's okay to be motivated and get motivated but discipline is going to trump motivation and skills and everything else you don't have to be a genius to be disciplined you find a, a simple thing to do a daily marketing plan a daily method of operations and you you practice that until you get the discipline down and the discipline is what's going to get you going and create your money for you do you have uh, team members do you got vendors do you got employees you're gonna have to figure out how they work best with your uh, situation and they're going to discover there's many personalities out there and you're going to have to learn about personalities so you can prosper in your business there we as owners of a, a company usually end up owning our own job I mean we trade time for dollars and when we start trading our time for dollars we're back in the same position except now we own our job 
We want to stay away from that and develop our time freedom and our financial freedom. And we can do all kinds of stuff if we have a vision, if we know our purpose, if we got a why. We got to have these things laid out and written down. If you don't write them down, they're just floating around and they're not rock solid, okay? They're sand. If you're religious, you know about building your house on sand and building it on a rock. When trouble comes and things go, right out of your mind. The obstacles are there. Those, those obstacles really aren't obstacles. There's no such thing as an obstacle. All you got is an opportunity. That's just another O word. Obstacles are opportunities. Forget the obstacles. There's only opportunity. All right? You just, when that obstacle comes up, you're getting paused. You're getting challenged. You're getting tested. That's all they are. It's not easy, I know. I've always got obstacles, and I always have them. And so will you. They're never going to go away because you're in the testing ground. I told you about that. Well, it's never our vision alone, but due to our lack of knowledge, ability, drive, and discipline, and to know experience, Specifically, how to do something is what holds us back. All right. Like I said, self self made motivation comes often after you are disciplined. Because once you're disciplined, things become easier for you, and you get motivated easier. Okay. Sometimes you're going to have to give up your control to others. That's what the teamwork is all about. Taking a leap in, of faith in different people. A driver personality is one that wants to get it done and never wants to give up the control. All right, they always want to be in control, but they will give it up if it's gonna if it means getting the job done. You got to take a leap of faith and trust in other people. Uh, a lot of people fail in small business because they have lack of vision. They don't have a plan written down and written out. They just do it so they can get their bank loan and then they don't follow it. Yeah. So you got to be careful. got to stick to that plan. You write stuff down and, and you stick to it. Keep doing that plan, and you adjust it as you need to, but you keep sticking to the plan. The daily method of operation, your daily marketing plans, your your financial budget, your um, research and development budget. These things are what you got to get learning about and thinking about and it's going to be uh, tricky, but it's easily mastered. Once you got it, you got it. It doesn't take too long to get it either. Alrighty. So this was number 68, and I kind of messed up my number in sequence there, but I'm back on track. You got to change your uh, hate and your dismay into love. You gotta love to pay your taxes. You gotta love to pay your bills on time. You gotta love to reduce uh, the stress in your company, in your life, in your relationships, in your business. Okay, you gotta you gotta get an attitude of gratitude. You gotta stay positive and keep the negative Nellies away from you. And things start changing, and you start getting attraction. It's like a magnet. You change the 
the vibrations of your thinking, of your being. You change the, the brain itself. You rewire it so it thinks the way it's supposed to, so it vibrates at a different level. All right. So that's inner faith and uh, all kinds of different things going on in the world today. You got to remember when you change the brain and you start thinking, you can never go back to the old ways. That would just be foolish and worthless and unprofitable. So once you've changed your vision and your mind and your brain, you're on a new dimension, a new level. You're going to learn to live different. You're going to learn to think different. You're going to learn to dress different, be different, talk different. And you want to get around people who are more prosperous, and smarter, and faster and quicker in business deals than yourself. You got to keep growing. You always want to be looking for the the new person to follow who is smarter than you and uh, more profitable of you. Okay. Remember good versus better and better versus best. There's no top notch there. There's no it's an ongoing thing into eternity. Okay, and it's a bunch of other stuff for religion and you don't want to do that. Well, this is a little bit of honest and brashness and uh, straightforwardness with you. If you're going to be in business, you're going to have to grow up Buckle up, knuckle up, and dig in, and start doing the thing. You're going to have to find yourself a place to learn. And here at Traffic Authority, we have uh, a, a, a community that is grateful. They know how to be grateful. They stay positive, and... If you're negative in a group, you're going to get hit. They're going to not, they don't want that around. We don't want it around, and you don't want it around. Got to figure out uh, what kind of risk you're willing to take. You're going to have to press forward and reach out and take the leaps of faith. You're going to have to learn to discern. The truth from the lies and the facts from the fiction, fiction, the probable from the possible, the risk from the danger, and so on and so on. That ability will enhance your selections and then allow you to pursue more often and more confidently, more quickly. You gotta be willing to take the risk Taking risk comes from fear of failure. The lack of taking risk is because you fear failing. Remember, don't forget that um, failure is just uh, the first attempt at uh, learning. In learning, so just grow. Get down there and grow with it. Remember when you were a kid and you fell off the bicycle, skinned your knees and elbows, you threw the bike down and waited a day or maybe a week and tried again and finally you got on the bike and you were riding all over town. Same thing with this learning curve and growing your business and becoming an entrepreneur. You're going to get scrapes and you're going to get bumps, maybe need some stitches. Hey. But once you get it, you got it. And you got to remember, winners never quit. Quitters never win. Okay? 
And be grateful for your your parents because they gave you life, even if they're screw ups and there's many out there today. But you be grateful for the good things. You got to pick out the good things in your life. You're here, so your parents were messed up. Forget about them. They gave you life. Now you got the choice. You got free will. You're living in America. You're way off and way better. Figure out what you love and success comes at a price. You got to know that. You must be able to pay the price. All right. How much does it cost? It costs whatever it takes to get it. People always ask me how much money I make. Well, it's none of their business how much money I make. It's not about me. It's about them. It's about you. It's about what you're going to do and how much you want to make. If I wasn't making money, I wouldn't be doing this, and I wouldn't be talking about it. Okay? I'm not where I want to be, I'll tell you that, but I'm still advancing Someday I'll be there and I'll be making more than I ever thought I could at the level I was just a couple years ago. All right, so work on that vision, that little ball, and put love on one side, pleasure on the other side, service on one side, gratitude. You got the four things, love, pleasure, gratitude service and then uh, you put things in there and uh, that little cube there about your physical health your spiritual health your mental health your credibility your work and your purpose your why your passion you got to figure out what your inner pilot light is okay you got to figure out what kind of money needs you got what kind of money needs you want to get rid of? You don't want to get rid of uh, your bills and your medical bills and uh, stuff like that. And you're going to have to change your environment. You can't grow if you're in the acidy soil, the negativity. You're just going to sit there and wither away and finally die. Okay, and that's about all I got. It's already 22 minutes. It's a long one today. This was number 68, the Traffic Authority Video Challenge, 100 videos in 100 days. This was Donnie with uh, Sinbad the Sailor Man from Poetry Rights and other stuff from Sinbad the Sailor Man. I am at a Traffic Authority... Uh, independent affiliate that can help you with your traffic your education and your optimizing tools for that traffic if you can check out my blogs and uh, my Facebook page I got different pages you can check out and you will see me all over the place so reach out and Message me or email me or you can try to call me. If I'm here, I'm going to have a hard time because I'm in the dead zone. Drop a lot of calls here. All right, folks, you have a great night, a better tomorrow. God bless and keep on doing the thing. Do the thing, drive the dream, get disciplined. You got to self-discipline yourself not easy you can get with accountability groups they're out there I think they even got an app I heard uh, Joe talking about I forget what he called it to uh, habit habitat uh, habit application or something I'll see if I can find it alrighty good night bye bye